Hello, this is the WTF SDK tutorial for um, player character creation. And so the first step that we're going to go through is to create an animation package. Now, um, what an animation package is, is sort of, uh, it basically contains all the images that's required for um, a single character or a single player or a single uh, effect or a single projectile, all these things that we create in game, we want to kind of organize them into packages. Um, so first of all, um, I'm going to go back to the editor and we open the project that we previously created. Uh, in order to open the project, go back to the, the project folder that you've created the project and either select the HTML or the SWF file. Hit open. After a few seconds, your project's going to open right back up. Um, and also a note about how to use this browser, which is going to be the first thing that you see in the editor. Um, so down at the bottom right corner, there's three buttons for you to um, edit, create, and delete assets, respectively. Um, if you try to look over all the other different kinds of resources that are in the project, you see all these buttons are still available. So, and for our purpose, since we need to create a new animation package, I'm just going to go over here quickly and hit new. That, that opens up the animation package editor. So, um, the first concern that I need to be um, work through is to actually import the content into the editor. So here I have some pre-made materials that I prepare for the tutorial. And the first thing that I need to do is to move all these content into the resource folder of the project that I'm working on. So I'm going to quickly put it under the resource slash image folder. And I'm going to quickly move these over here. And as you can see, um, these are all GIF images. And if you look closer, you know, these are all individual frames of animations. Um, so you can basically work with uh, any kind of image format that Flash accepts, which includes GIFs, JPEGs, and, and PNGs. Um, so I kind of recommend using GIFs for player characters since they're kind of smaller in file size. And as you can see, all these animations are separated into individual files of individual animation frames. So um, unfortunately, animated GIFs kind of doesn't work. So you have to um, you have to find a way to kind of separate these images back out into individual files. So. Without further ado, let's kind of go in and import all these content. Uh, for this particular animation package, I need basically everything except the profile animation, which I'll talk about in another tutorial, actually. So I'm going to do that. So in order to import resources into the project, you just select the ones that you need, and you drag and drop into the editor that you're working with, in this case the content manager. So one thing that you need to be careful about working with um, all these resources in the project folder is that once you once you have them recorded in the project proper, you probably don't want to move or change file names or do anything that would kind of compromise the link between the project itself and and the file that it kind of points to. So um, you got to be careful about how you label your folders and such before you start actually working with the files themselves. Um, so I'm going to quickly look over all the files I have. Um, what I want to do is to make sure that um, all the frames are in order. Sometimes, you know, the, the files might not be labeled properly and might need some readjustment. Um, so let's see. Cass is fine. Idle. That looks fine to me. 
jump animation. Yes, one. Um, actually, they all look quite in order. But um, if you ever need to adjust your animation frame, say, you know, maybe 17 and 19 is out of order, um, what you want to do is you can, there's, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, if you want to just kind of move the frame up and down step by step, there's two buttons down at the bottom that allows you to kind of move that frame up one frame at a time. Um, you can also drag and drop. It's actually faster in a lot of cases. Um, also, if you're kind of, you know, it's kind of, it's a little bulky to see the whole path to the files themselves. You can also just look at the file names if that helps you organize your resource files. So now that I have all these files, I'm um, going to click OK and, you know, all these contents now imported into this particular animation package. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with um, all these animation frames to into creating actual animations that's usable for the player character.